Well, as the West praises Ukraine's recent coup as a triumph of democracy, one ideal is being neglected. It's become common practice for Russian journalists to be sent packing when they reach the border. More than 20 have now been prevented from reporting in Ukraine, and some Russian TV channels have been taken off air in the country. Artie Zarina Galushka reports. The stamp in passport means access denied to Ukraine and especially to its eastern regions. This is as far as journalist Maxim Dadonov got while trying to cover a story in Donetsk. Once he presented his Russian passport, Maxim's documents were taken and he was forced to endure a lengthy lockdown. I spent nearly seven hours in a room they called either a hotel or a lounge. It was a small, stuffy, very hot room with nothing but a bed and a table there. There are no people there. They just lock you in and leave. Maxim is just one of a number of Russian journalists banned from entering Ukraine in recent days. In all, crews from a dozen Russian news outlets have been turned around at passport control. A cameraman from RT's video agency, Rapli, journalists from state channels, independently owned newspapers, even reporters from Forbes magazine, who were trying to do a business piece in Dnepropetrovsk, another restive region in the country's east. We showed our press cards, but that only made things worse. They told us we are being denied entry for three years. They interrogated us for quite a long time and then filmed all the equipment we had with us. Kiev says Russian journalists make nothing but propaganda and their reports distort reality. But border guards almost always have a backup reason – money and a lack of. That's despite bank statements showing healthy accounts and good handfuls of cash. The man who had my passport and a woman in uniform were looking and pointing at something on a computer screen and half whispering to each other. I'm assuming they have a database of some sort. You just type my name in and it says I'm a journalist. Journalists on blacklists being prevented from doing their work. Not quite what you'd expect from a country that lately has been so keen to embrace European ideals. Irina Galushko, RT. Well, Moscow has brought attention to these apparent displays of political censorship and some international groups are also voicing their concerns. Reporters Without Borders criticised the refusal to allow Russian journalists in, adding it amounts to violation of international agreements on press freedom. The US-based Committee to Protect Journalists reminded the interim authorities that both foreign and domestic journalists should be allowed to report on events without obstruction. And the Organization for Security and Cooperation in Europe has voiced concerns over claims of reporters being harassed and intimidated. But so far, the calls remain unheeded.